Hey guys, welcome to my December favorites. This month I don't have too much to share with you. A lot of the makeup items I've just been using like the same stuff over and over and a lot of those things were in my November favorites. So there's a few makeup items but I do have some, um, some body items so let's get into it so I can share these with you. So I'm going to start off with the makeup items first because there are so few of them. The first one I'm going to talk about is the Maybelline 1x1 Volume Express Waterproof Mascara. And this is one of my favorite mascaras ever because this is just such an easy go-to mascara. I've tried the non-waterproof formula before and both of them perform just as well, but the waterproof one obviously has the benefit of lasting a little bit longer and being waterproof. And this I like because the brush is a plastic brush and it's kind of dome shaped like this. And if it'll focus... You can kind of see there's like lots and lots of tiny little teeth. So they really comb through your lashes really nicely. It doesn't volumize like really dramatically or anything like that, but it lengthens and it volumizes just enough so that it just looks really natural, but still it gives you that boost that your lashes need. And I get a lot of compliments when I wear this mascara. I've said, people have said, oh, you have really nice long lashes and it doesn't look clumpy at all. You can try your best to try to clump this stuff, you will not be able to clump it. I mean, layer after layer after layer, but really you only need like one or two coats. So that's why I really like this mascara. This is pretty much the only mascara I've been using all month. It's just so quick and easy like that. The next item I'm going to talk about is this YSL lip gloss, and these are new. They're the Gloss Voulup Day lip glosses, and I still have to do a little bit more research about these. Love this gloss because it has a really fantastic formula. It's very smooth on the lips and it's not sticky at all. It adds like a little bit of moisture to your lips. It looks even good when your lips are dry. It has that signature YSL kind of mangoish um, flavor to it. And they have kind of two different kinds. They have ones that are like iridescent where there's like shimmers in them. And it's supposed to really make your lips look pouty and um, like 3D-ish kind of thing. I think that's like the new thing, like 3D lip glosses. And they also have ones that don't have any shimmer to them. Both. I didn't think I would like the shimmer ones because generally I don't like glitter or shimmer in my lip glosses. Um, but this is really, really fine shimmer. It's actually not extremely noticeable. This is the only one that I got in the shimmer. I have two other ones. One is like a cream red color and the other one is like a cream pink color because I wanted to compare the shimmer shimmer to the non-shimmer and really between the two pinks they're really not even that different in color or the way that it reflects on your lips. I don't notice the shimmer too much in this and it's just a very comfortable gloss. It lasts probably about two or three hours. It's not anything too long lasting um, but I do really like them. It feels really nice and luxurious on the lips and it's just really great for if you have dry lips like I do. So I highly recommend it. This is um, the color in 102. And I believe they are on the YSL Beauty um, website right now. I don't think you can get them at Sephora just yet. And I haven't seen them at the counters just yet. So if you want to check them out, that's where to get them. Last makeup item I have is the Naked 3 palette. I know a lot of people have this and a lot of YouTubers have talked about this palette. But I've been playing with this all month so that I can kind of um, put together some looks for you guys. Most of the looks that I have um, come up with are really, really simple, really easy, just combining some of these colors. And I'm not sure... I thought I would like this a lot more, but I still do like it. And... Like I said, I had been using it all month pretty much exclusively just because I really wanted to try to put together some looks for you guys and do some tutorials. And it's just a really nice neutral palette. They're more rosy toned than the original Naked palette or the Naked 2. And the Naked, the first Naked palette was more like bronzy and the second one was more topish and this one is more of the rose gold. So this is really nice. It's the same quality as all the Urban Decay eyeshadows have. They're wonderful to work with. Pigmented, smooth, easily blendable. So I do recommend this. The only thing that kind of put me off from using this, like, or really loving this as much as I thought I would love it, is because I thought that I would really like the pinky kind of rose gold champagne colors, but some of these lean a little bit, like, mauve-ish, and you kind of have to be careful because, um... It can kind of make you look sickly sometimes if you overuse it or if you use some of the tones 
together too much, especially I think more so if you have pale skin or maybe because my skin tone is more yellowish, but there are ways to use this and still have make it look really, really nice. I'm just throwing that out there. Why? You know, I'm not like totally smitten with this as much as I thought I would be. But it's still a favorite this month and hopefully I will be posting up some tutorials for you guys soon. Next I'm going to go into a couple of body products. One thing I have been using for a while now but I haven't included in a favorites video just yet is this Body Shop Pink Grapefruit Shower Gel. It's a ginormous bottle. I bought a bunch of Body Shop products when they were having this crazy sale on the web website. Basically everything was like 50% off. So I went a little nuts and I'm pretty much stocked with body products and shower gels and all that for a while. Probably until the next sale at least. And this is one of my favorites, the Pink Grapefruit Smell is just spot on. It's very refreshing and very invigorating. It's just so fresh. It smells so delicious. Oh, if you like pink grapefruit, you will love this shower gel. And it's a nice gel. It gets you clean. It rinses off nice. It's moisturizing. Not like super moisturizing, but um, it doesn't dry out your skin. And it lathers up pretty well. I wouldn't say it lathers as well as the Bath and Body Works body sh body shower gels. I think the Bath and Body Works ones are a little bit thicker in texture and they definitely kind of foam up a little bit better on your loofah but um, this one still works fine and yeah I've been really enjoying this. And with the shower gel I also bought the pink grapefruit body butter and the Body Shop body butters are probably one of my favorite body moisturizers ever just because the formula is that good it really moisturizes and hydrates my dry skin and they smell heavenly I don't think there's one that I don't like but <sighs> it just makes you want to eat this it's so good and this used together with the body gel it just enhances the whole pink grapefruit experience so I really really like this one I also have been enjoying the Vineyard Peach one and this formula is just a little bit different from the Pink Grapefruit. This one is the dry skin formula and I don't know if you can tell the difference between the two but the Vineyard Peach is definitely much thicker. If I were to shake this, this one will definitely kind of drip down but this one is like solid, it won't come out. And the Vineyard Peach also smells amazing, it's so good too. I love fruity scents and these are really really spot on. They smell delicious, they hydrate the skin and I've been kind of just going back and forth between the two depending on how dry my skin is. The weather here in New England has been absolutely nuts. One day it's like 50 degrees and the next day it's like minus 50 degrees. So it's driving my skin crazy. And my last favorite are these simple cleansing makeup wipes. And I know Simple makes a couple of other kinds, the exfoliating wipes and I think the oil control ones. These are just the plain, regular cleansing facial wipes and I've tried quite a few different facial wipes and these are pretty much, I would say these are my favorite ones. I keep returning to these. These are the only ones that pretty much don't leave like a nasty residue behind. I've tried the Neutrogena ones and I love how those really clean off your face and your makeup really, really well. but I feel like the Neutrogena ones always leave a little bit of a residue behind and I want to wipe where it does what it does, where you clean off your face and you don't have to wash your face again. With that residue behind, you feel like you need to wash your face again and that's you know not the point because otherwise why would I use a makeup wipe? I'm trying to be lazy here. So that's why I like the simple ones, they just don't leave that residue behind and they still do a really really good job removing all your makeup. I wear a waterproof mascara all the time and this gets it off just fine. It doesn't sting your skin or your eyes or anything like that. I mean the simple brand I think is catered to sen sensitive skin so highly recommend these. And that's it for my December favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You're probably expecting this video to be 30 minutes long, but hopefully next month I'll have some more interesting things to share with you. As always, if you have any questions or comments on anything that I talked about in this video, please leave them in the comments section below. I'd be more than happy to get back to you. Thanks again for watching, guys, and until my next video, I will talk to you later. Bye!